welcome back. This video is a little bit different. Something that is bugging me and it might just be something I have to live with with these cheap with this cheap mini lathe is backlash in this carriage. Um, the top slide hasn't been too too bad. There there's a little and I believe I can work with some of these adjustments to, to get that out. But I do want to try to get that out because it does affect the performance of this thing when I'm doing uh, facing off material or just, you know, working with it. The, so, you know, there's, I don't know, four or five thou of backlash here. Maybe I can't even get it out. But if anybody has any ideas, certainly put them down in the comments and I'll, I'll check it out. But besides that, the the, the top slide, I, I can kind of work with that a little bit better than the carriage. The carriage, it, it I mean, there's sh surely a way to tighten up, I would hope to tighten up the, uh, the drive screw or mechanism. Let me bring you down here and I'll show you what we're talking about. It's this, there's just this backlash and you notice that nothing moves until you get past that backlash either way. So you kind of have to go, depending on where you're measuring, if you're going uh, forward, you got to start it with your zero. You know, once once you've gotten to the stop of the backlash, then you can measure across. But then, if you want to go back, if you're using these dials to measure or use, you know, it is all metrics. I don't really use them anyway. But you know, it's this backlash. Just the bigger problem is when you're pushing on a material. Let's say you get it where you want it, and you're you're coming across the face when you. As you're coming across, this thing has a tendency to move. Now, I know you, I can lock this down, and that prevents it from, from moving. Get this in here. You tighten that down. You know, I'm sure I'm sure it brings up uh, this retaining portion here and keeps it from from moving but the, you know every time you're facing sometimes that's not practical if I'm if I'm wanting to come and face turn down a, a rod or something I, I can't I can't really tighten that up because I need to be able to go back and forth but if anybody has any ideas on how to adjust this I sure hope that they built in some some way to adjust it but it's it's that so you got this gear rod. Uh, that's not the right terminology, but we've got this that that gear rides on in order to bring everything back and forth. And I know there's going to be some backlash anyway, but it sure would be nice to maybe bring this bring bring this up to get it tighter. I, I'm not sure what the solution is, or is this just something that you deal with and work around? Um, it just seems. I know newer, better name brand lays surely don't have that, that sort of thing, but surely there's a way to improve that a little bit. If anybody has any ideas, I would love to hear them and try to get the slop, at least improve this a little bit, and this one as well. I mean, that's quite a bit there. I mean, it does turn the screw, but it's it's got you know some slop in there i am going to mess with these adjustments and try to get that a little bit better but anyway just a quick video i'd love some help on that if anybody has any ideas um you know take this thing apart maybe clean it up and and see if we can't find out what's going on with it but if anybody has any ideas I'd love to hear them thanks